Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Python and Airflow users encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to retrieve default arguments defined in a directed acyclic graph, or DAG, within a Python operator's callable function. Let's break down the question. The viewer has defined a set of default arguments for their DAG, including parameters like owner, retries, and a specific touch file path. However, they are unsure how to access the touch file path parameter within the Python callable function, especially since Jinja templating only works in certain attributes of the Python operator. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. To retrieve default arguments in a Python callable within an Airflow DAG, we first need to understand how to pass these arguments correctly. In your code, you have defined a dictionary called default args. This dictionary contains various parameters, including touch file path, To access the touch file path parameter in your Python operator, you can use Jinja templating. However, it only works in specific attributes. In your task definition, ensure that you are using the correct syntax for Jinja templating. This will allow you to dynamically access the touch file path. Finally, remember to enable provide context in your Python operator. This allows the context variables to be passed to your callable function. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Airflow, there are two main ways to pass variables, Jinja templating and specialized operator properties. With Jinja templating, you can use the user-defined macros property at the DAG level. For specialized operator properties, check the specific operator documentation. Some operator properties can be processed by Jinja, allowing you to use template syntax. Here's a quick example using Bash and Python operators. Remember, the ability to use variables depends on the operator. For instance, bash operator uses bash command, while python operator uses op quarks. In summary, you can use user-defined macros in any place where Airflow macros are applicable, enhancing your workflows. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Airflow 2.0, you can retrieve default arguments from a Python callable, which is often a function marked with the at task decorator. To do this, use the getCurrentContext function. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To retrieve default arguments in a Python callable, 
you can access them directly within the function. For example, in a function that interacts with a WebHDFS client, you can print the default arguments using the pprint function. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To retrieve default arguments in a Python callable, you can access them through args. Have you tried checking the touch file path from there? And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please, hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.